The great thing really has been, you know, with some of the instability that we have had in Africa, Rue Forum has been able to literally, you know, lift by the hand, you know, and lead some of these institutions where we probably would not have had any institution. Oh, the university I had forgotten completely. When the nightmare happened, I was in this university doing my last year of undergraduate. I became afraid. I'm telling you, it was terrible. We fled to Congo. When I was going into the Congo forest, I couldn't imagine I will be back in the country. There was nothing to eat in the forest. People were dying. I was hopeless. When we got back, I found my father and my mother, they were there, and uh, they started to take care of me. I was very weak. So after the war and genocide, the university was empty. No lecturers, no students three of my classmates are still alive. Others who were not killed uh, went into exile and uh, it, it took a while to, to come back to the normal functionality. We embarked on the program of, of our starting masters and PhDs and so Roof Forum have been uh, instrumental in helping us in the curriculum development. There was a desperate need for scientists to help rebuild the country. And I told myself, ah, me also, I should go for a master's degree. By September 2008, I entered the Makerere University under SCARDA founding and the Roof Forum coordination. Leonidas returned from Makerere University with a master's in agricultural extension and education. I was in charge of taking technologies to farm. We are going in Gasharu village, where we have a livestock IP, innovation platform. An innovation platform is a way of bringing together the different actors around a particular agricultural commodity, so that the entire value chain is more productive. Leonidas has established successful innovation platforms for maize, cassava, Irish potato, aquaculture and cattle across Rwanda. He has also established a dairy innovation platform. Now we are uh, going to one of the farmer. Leonidas's work taps into the government's One Cow, One Family program, in which families pass on their cow to a neighboring family after it has calved, ensuring that every family has at least one cow. This is the cow who came in this household after having given three calves. That is the fourth calf. And when the fourth is going to grow up, the cow will move the leg once again. Once he gets the money from the milk, he can pay electricity. He can buy pigs like this one. With the money, he can pay university for his kids. <laughs> we are almost there. Once a quarter, farmers, local leaders, milk cyclists, milk collection center representatives, traders, district veterinarians, and agronomists meet. They discuss issues and find out solutions. Working with the One Cow, One Family program, the innovation platform established by Leonidas has not only generated new opportunities for smallholder farmers, but has also helped to stitch a fragmented community back together. Even next year, the cows will be given. I am very sure. Reform for me is like a saver. It saved me from where I was hopeless 
and uh, with the master's degree I have got, I think even now I can go for a PhD. And the Rufo Room could support.